Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, the day before the World Series. Very exciting. I know a lot of Dodger fans all over the world. Very excited. A lot of Angelinos, especially locally here. Very, very excited. It's history in the making. So hopefully there'll be a great series. Civil. And what I mean by that is I hope there's no stupid people doing anything stupid like, you know, fighting. That always tends to put a dampener, especially on the World Series. <sighs> Texas and California. Kind of a volatile combination, but hopefully with God's grace, um, we'll have no problems. Hopefully. Um, I was asked a question on Reddit. Um, so I checked my email this morning. Uh, I post on Reddit. I try to post my videos everywhere that I can. I try to get as much coverage as, as possible. Um, I was asked... Uh, oh, and thank you for the question, by the way. Feel free to ask me any questions. Leave any comments. Um, I will answer honestly and truthfully. So, I was asked if I am homeless, how do I post? Oh, I'm sorry about the light. <clears throat> how do I post? Um, again, thank you for the question. I have a laptop. Um, I have two cell phones. And let's not get this twisted. I have two cell phones, one that um, I pay on my T-Mobile account diligently so far every month. And I have uh, what's commonly called as a, an Obama phone or a government free phone. Um, I get that for free. I do that because I'm also on public assistance, which means I'm on food stamps and I also get GR. That's a total of less than $400 a month that I get in public assistance. Not a lot of money uh, to live off monthly. It's very expensive. A lot of people think, well, yeah, you can make do. The only problem is, is that living this way, you can't buy anything that's perishable, like, like a lot of fruits and vegetables and uh, say like meats and stuff like that so me I have to pretty much every day go to the supermarket and get something to eat and it's expensive it gets very very expensive so I have a laptop I have two cell phones uh, I have my camera that was stolen but a nice nice person replaced my camera for me um, so ever grateful for that so, yeah, and what money that I do have, I do my best to budget myself every month. So, uh, it's not an easy thing. If I can, do a side job, an odd job, whatever it is, whatever little money I get, um, I save away. I was able to, earlier this year, because I had um, a very, very old laptop. I mean, like, XP edition. Old Toshiba. So I was able to, earlier this year, uh, save in my money, uh, buy a new laptop. And um, I needed a good cell phone, so I, I went and got uh, my T-Mobile phone. Luckily, um, thank goodness I have decent credit, so... I was going to go with a pay-as-you-go plan, but I just got a regular account. I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this in the past. The misconception of, of people, everyday regular people, homelessness is so different. Um, with technology the way it is, people 
most homeless people have either definitely a cell phone or a laptop. Um, in today's te technological world, we have to stay in contact with anybody and everything, the whole world. So, um, not every homeless person has a cell phone, but with uh, the free phones, the free government assistant phones, uh, it's a big help. Especially since you really don't see uh, public phones anymore. And if you do, they're pretty darn expensive. So, um, yeah, that's that's how I do. And um, I'll go to the library. I'll go to Starbucks, wherever um, I can get a Wi-Fi signal. And then I'll upload. I'll do editing and whatever I can. So this is how I post. Um, I know it's it, a lot of people really do think they have, if you're homeless you shouldn't you shouldn't have this and you shouldn't have that well I do what I do I have my equipment I have a nice camera two cell phones and a laptop and I work very hard to for what I have and uh, I do get robbed from time to time. I have stuff stolen from me, and it's it's heartbreaking when you get something stolen from you, especially when another homeless person steals from another homeless person. In the homeless community, we have a crime rate that is so outrageous. Theft is one thing that runs rapid in, the, in this community, so. It is what it is. You know, the whole crying over spilt milk, you just you gotta deal with it, so. But, anyway, yes. This is how I post. Laptop, cell phone. It's not easy. By any means, not easy. But, you know. Anyway, my friends. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, please tell your friends, anybody, about me, little old me, uh, about what I do, what, what my situation is. Uh, trend me. Look into my eyes. Trend me. No, but. Uh, thank you for following me. I uh, started earlier this year in January, and for what few subscribers I have, I'm very, very, very grateful. It means a lot to me. At least I know what I'm doing is not falling upon deaf ears. It's important for me to talk about what I do and stuff, so. Anyway, guys. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves first. Love one another, respect one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day after. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on the ice. Bad lighting, I know, I'm sorry. But anyway guys, take care of yourselves and I will post this video here in a few minutes. I'm almost back to my spot over here. I'll post this video as soon as I can and I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you all. Take care and uh, let's win Dodgers. Bye.